So, it is uh, currently negative six degrees, it's snowing everywhere on the bikes. And um, yeah, day two and three around here is quite cold, as you can see. Um, but day two is still nothing about my luggage. It's um, at the airport somewhere. And not looking too good. Gave them a call this morning and they're still not sure exactly where it's going. And um, yeah, really quite concerning considering that I don't have underwear or socks or um, too much else. So hopefully the lighting is better in this video. I know the last one was a little bit up and down with every step that I took, but um, yeah, a quick tour around campus and um, see how it goes. I completely forgot that um, snow just feels like sand, but right? softer and fluffier. It's just so easy to go through. And seeing grass covered in, um, covered in snow as well, which is crazy. And it is getting really cold. It's about negative eight now. Um, yeah, this is the main street of camp as well, look at it. But the law building over there with the glass. Main street's not too bad. So. As you can see, quite snowy here. Mm. Yeah. Snow, bikes. It is, um, yeah, really interesting through here. Feels like a scene out of a horror film, to be honest, which I probably shouldn't say now that I'm actually here. Um, yeah. Um, so yesterday, pretty much stayed at home and slept. Finally woke up at about 10:30 or so. Um, jet lag hasn't been too bad, but uh, somewhat bearable. Uh, slept through. Dog's been sleeping on the bed with me, and called Wanda still on an update yesterday. Still on an update today. Just make sure it's not too close to the wind, otherwise you're going to get a very muffled sound coming through. Hopefully this sounds decent still. Just cover the microphone up. Um, so yeah, I did nothing really yesterday. Woke up, watched the Arsenal game, which was um, from 3-0 down back to 3-3. Wasn't too bad. Um, still a little bit disappointing, uh, considering that it was Bournemouth, but knowing that, um, knowing that we only played a game less than 48, 48 hours before, it's kind of some... I wouldn't say exactly acceptable, but understandable would probably be a better way of phrasing it. So uh, there's that. Fell asleep at the end. Woke up and Maria made fajitas, which is quite nice. So met two of her friends, her boyfriend and one of her friends, who also study here. And um, I think the wind's finished now, so that's all right. And did that, and that was it yesterday, really. Fell asleep. Um, fell asleep quite late, actually. Fell asleep about 4.30 a.m. Just wasn't tired and couldn't get to rest. So had the dog and, um, you know, caught up on YouTube videos, I guess, been missing out on a fair bit, so, did that, now just still going around the uni, not too much going on, um, as you can see, a really, really big university, um, in terms of just size, about 45,000 students here, even though compared to UNSW, it's 50, 52,000, not as much, but, um, just seeing the size and how far I have to walk. Um, should be interesting. Apparently a lot of students just Uber from one side of the campus to the other, so um, that should be interesting to find out and uh, see if I'll end up being that lazy or if I can just walk around and try and keep the weight off because everyone seems to insist that um, I'm going to put on a lot of weight when I come here. So yeah, today woke up, um, woke up pretty late as you'd imagine after going to bed at you know, 4.30 in the morning and then um, yeah, woke up 10.30, got changed and left essentially, so got in here with Maria, who was kind enough to drop me off at the International Centre, and then, um, yeah, came down, met the hall monitor, which I thought was a, um, which I thought was just a joke from The Simpsons, but it turns out it's actually a real thing, so met Bruce, uh, who seemed very nice, and also met a fellow Australian, which is great, um, although all things considered, I thought I'd be an American first, so, uh, meeting an Aussie who goes to UTS isn't all that bad anyway, so... Um, that's really been it. Just had lunch. We've got our wristbands to go through. We finally worked out how to pay some bills. So thank God I can actually put through the student fees. And then, um, yeah, just finishing that and then heading to lunch. So just finished dinner. About to head to bed. Got orientation tomorrow. Not too bad. 
So orientation starts tomorrow, if I want to get my student card. And um, that's about it. Still nothing in here. Still got to unpack a little bit, but I'm still missing that second piece of luggage. So that's it for day three, and see you all tomorrow.